For the first time in five months, students at Scotch Bluff Schools return to the classroom for perhaps the most unique first day of the school year ever. We do require that masks be used. Um, they're not being used, you know, when you're doing things like playing an instrument or when you're exercising during PE or when you're eating. But um, in a normal classroom setting, um, there, you know, masks are going to be required. Director of Communications Melissa Price says it's not just masks for increased safety measures. Temperature checks are happening. Um, we were very fortunate that um, in working through Panhandle Public Health and Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, we got an additional 240 uh, touchless thermometers, which allowed us to be able to put a thermometer in every single classroom. And then um, we have our return to school paraeducators who are kind of catching the people, the visitors or people who come in late or whatever they're catching those like at the elementary schools and are able to do temp checks on them from there. She says keeping that six foot distance from others is also something that teachers are trying to achieve. Well, you know, our, our buildings are still the same size as they've always been. So there's, you know, so only so much that we can do for space. But I noticed a lot of our teachers came up with some really creative solutions to be able to make that social distancing possible. Um, I saw lots of different um, carpet spots on the elementaries and some things like that. You'll also see um, little Bearcat paw stickers all throughout the buildings that kind of give kids an idea of what six foot apart looks like when you're in the lunch line or, or you're waiting to get to class. Additionally, increased sanitation efforts have been enacted throughout the district. Yeah, there's hand sanitizer all throughout our buildings, and in some cases I've even seen teachers in the hallways just dispensing it out to students one by one as they walk by. Uh, we've also added throughout all of our schools um, water bottle fillers. We've turned off our drinking fountains and um, installed new water bottle fillers. Uh, we had them already in the high school, but we have them now in all schools, and we've issued um, district-issued water bottles to all students who want them. Price says it may take some time to adapt and react to the so-called new normal, but most people were happy to be back at school Monday. Well, I think it's just, um, we're just really excited to be back. You know, even the best laid plans, you've got to learn some things as you go. So we'll probably be making some adjustments. And, you know, it's also been a little bit emotional today because um, we haven't been in school in a while. And, you know, I think teachers really miss students and students have really missed being in school. So we're just happy to have, you know, everyone here and everyone back. In Scottsbluff, Ryan Murphy, KNEB.TV News.